Last year, Rolling Stone reported that vinyl records are on track to outsell compact discs for the first time in 33 years. We wanted to determine how the people in the Goshen community are most commonly consuming music and what mediums they are spending the most money on. To achieve this, we spoke with local experts and conducted an anonymous response survey on the campus of Goshen College. Francisco Ramirez, a local vinyl collector, gave his opinion on the popularity and consumer appeal that vinyl records possess. Part of the reason that vinyl is having such an impressive revival is that people like something they can hold in their hands. Um, you know, I can, I mean, I've collected music since CDs were a thing and, um, and even before that in the days of cassettes. And the great thing about records is um, you can hold them, you can look at the artwork, you can pull the liner notes out and look at them, you can read the back. Um, it's something tangible. So even just um, disregarding the sound quality issues around CDs and, and that they do actually eventually degrade. You know, a record that you take care of is going to sound better than a CD you open up uh, out of the shrink wrap. Why carry around a box of compact discs to listen to your car when you can plug your phone in, right? So a lot of people do a lot of their um, listening either at work or um, on their commute or, you know, in the, in the subway or whatever the case may be. And so um, there's not as much of a need for, you know, uh, one disc or five discs that you can plug in somewhere. Um, likewise, same thing um, in the home environment. You know, I think um, when, when streaming and digital first became a thing, uh, people thought that it would kill all other forms of music, and they were right to an extent, because who wants to pull a CD out and put it in? Whereas, you know, with a record, you get that warmth, that vibrancy, that immediacy. Julie Hirschberger, the co-owner of Ignition Music Garage, also had insight on the consistently profitable sales of vinyl. I think it's the direct opposite of streaming. Streaming is so easy, you can do it wherever, and records, you get home, you sit down, you put one on, it's a whole ritual. If us selling more vinyl is a reflection of the rest of the world or the rest of our country, then I would have to assume that records are selling better than CDs right now, and there's probably a few reasons for that. Quality, first and foremost, I think. While our interviews presented a clear preference in vinyl records in the Goshen community, our Goshen College questionnaire revealed very different results. A nearly unanimous 91% of respondents reported a preference for streaming services, such as Apple Music, YouTube, and Spotify. Only 7.39% of respondents preferred listening to music on compact discs, but hardly anyone claimed to favor vinyl records, which came in at 0.4%. And finally, 63.54% reported spending more money on streaming services in a year than on any other music medium including CDs at 11.46% and vinyl at 4.17%. While vinyl is alive and well in the Goshen community, college students seem to value the convenience and affordability that goes along with streaming their music. For Globe News, I'm Riley Friesner.